just sit down this morning and do a little bit of eye makeup. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. It's uh, day 11 of isolation or self-quarantine or whatever you want to call it. Um, been at home since last Sunday, but I really want to play with some makeup. It's day three of IVIG, so I'm really not going anywhere fancy, but I do get to leave the house, which is awesome. Um, I get to go to one of our B&Bs that we own here in town um, because we don't want my nurse to come into our house because we're going to keep this house like a sterile place so I can go anywhere in it and, you know, um, it's still be sterile and clean and hopefully COVID free, um, all that stuff. Not that she has it, but um, the general kind of consensus is that we're just going to treat everybody like they have it and uh, keep away and stuff. So she's taking all the precautions that she needs to there at the inn, wear a mask, put little booties on her shoes, that kind of thing, um, wash your hands all the time, gloves, whatever. But um, even so, it can be in your hair, particles can be in your hair and your clothes, and we're not gonna ask her like strip off and change and stuff. So um, coming to our house and stuff. So instead of that, we're just gonna keep all of it at the b, b at the end. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere special, but I just want to play with some makeup. Um, I was not able to get my new palette that I showed on Instagram, all my new kind of mauve purpley colors, um, because ColourPop is a California-based company. Um, they're based out of Los Angeles, and uh, California is on a shelter-in-place order, so they've had to send everyone home from the distribution place center distribution center in LA so um, even though I ordered it last Tuesday I thought that would be enough time for me to get it it still wasn't so I did do an Instagram live the other day which unfortunately nobody tuned into but hopefully people will start to if I do it again and I'm learning every time you know what the best practices are for doing makeup because I'm not a guru I'm not an expert but the more I watch videos the more I try hopefully the better I'll get. So that time I didn't use any primer so I'm gonna do primer today. I'm gonna do the cover effects gripping primer but all the things that I use are always um, linked in the description below. Um, pretty much always and if, if I use something different I add it to the list but the list is pretty much the same every time. It's pretty much use the same stuff. Another reason I want to do my makeup was because I ordered a ring light. Um, it looks really cool. I will insert a little clip of what it looks like. Um, the whole setup, it looks really cool. Hopefully it looks better too in the camera as well. Um, hopefully it's not you know, one light, one lamp in the corner. It's everywhere. So hopefully you can see everything and it looks a little bit better. So um, I'm gonna do a bit of concealer um, to have a base. Um, and then we'll get started with some color. Basically just something totally neutral. I will show you what I use. I'll probably use um, Tati Beauty because she has a lot of choice and a lot of neutrals and stuff. So again, we'll just play. Soothe in the matte color, which is this one right here. Which is the first one. It's kind of, it has no shimmer um, and it's like a nice natural brown. So after I took my crease brush in um, to Ritual in matte, um, in the crease of both eyes, I took a kind of fluffy brush, which is the Real Techniques, I can read it, it's the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. And um, that had nothing on it. I just kind of fluffed the edges out. This is in the shade um, Bellini, but I think it's sold out. I don't know if they, if that collaboration is still like going on 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 their website on ColourPop's website. Kind of like this pinky, um, 
not orangey, but uh, pinky coppery, probably would be the best kind of way to describe it. And I think it goes with the brown as well. Um, it's got enough shine. It's also kind of metallic y, a little bit like kitten. Um, I don't know, should I smooth it out or let it be kind of wet and dry? And let it dry on its own, I'm not sure. Um, And this one I am gonna smooth out with a brush because I don't want it to be this intense in real life. Like any other day, going anywhere else, well actually going out like to meet, to see people um, or to a party or family gathering or whatever, I would want it to be this shiny. So, um, but today it doesn't need to be. I'm digging the copper. I think that goes well with the kind of mustard headband that I'm wearing today. My shade of blonde that I have and my green. Um, and the little green on my cap right there, whatever. Um, let's see, there's not much else to do. Um, I also took that um, same shade and I put it in the um, on the eyebrow bone as well. Again, like another lesson learned is like when I went live the other day to nobody, whatever. When I went live the other day, um, I didn't do my under eyes and I just put concealer on my lid and did one eye um, to play with makeup. And when I was doing pictures after and um, trying to pose after, I realized that um, because the under eye was kind of still had the dark circles, which didn't look right, it didn't look like complete. So I thought I would put concealer today to tie it all in. I'm gonna do some better than sex waterproof mascara. Um, because my eyes tend to water throughout the day, whether it's allergies or rubbing them or whatever it is. All right, I just finished up my mascara. Um, hopefully that kind of finishes off the look for you. So hope you enjoyed uh, watching me play with makeup, um, kind of putting this semi kind of neutral look together for the day. Um, like I said, I'm just lounging around in bed, getting my last day of IVAG. Um, I'm thankful that that can still happen, um, that we have another building to go to to keep this place. Um, you know, San Terry and um, Star Isle and clean and stuff. So if you enjoyed watching me um, play with makeup and share what I do for natural looks and then also on Instagram, I've been getting kind of like crazy eye looks and stuff like that. I can incorporate that into the vlogs as well. Um, play with some more makeup while I'm here at home. Um, if you did like it, please comment um, below. Tell me if you liked it, if you prefer um, other things, to see other things on these vlogs, um, cooking, baking, hanging outside, exercise, whatever it is, um, what kind of looks you'd love to see, I'd love more, um, traction in the comments, um, can reply to those and give you guys something entertaining to watch during your time at home. It's really important for you guys to like it on YouTube to get other people to watch it, um, not just my family and friends, but other people that might be interested in watching me play with makeup or the medical side with IVIG or appointments and things like that um, or cooking or baking or whatever I'm doing other people around the world to tune in and watch and be entertained as well hopefully um, it's really important for you guys to comment um, if you do like it um, to comment on YouTube and again like it on YouTube and subscribe because I do post kind of every week every other week um, I'm home we're all home more so um, I do try and post on Instagram as well like I said the last time I went live not nobody watched it so um, I would hope that if I went live again people would start 
to tune in. You can also let me know in the comments below here um, on the YouTube video, not on Facebook, but on YouTube, what time you would prefer me to go live on Instagram. Like I said, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying home, staying healthy, and that you tune in next time. All right, enjoy your day. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.